I love this time of year. It is looking like rain. I'm gonna go check the map and see if it looks like tornadoes are in town. Okay, so here's my location. I hope you can't tell our address from this. I don't think you can. But look at that red dot right there, that big red circle. What that tells me with my novice meteorologic, how do you say that word, honey? Meteorological? Meteorological. <laughs> I told you, I said novice, didn't I? Okay, what that tells me with my very limited education is that <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> You. That's like the second NASA, different NASA shirt you had on like in two videos in a row. I know. I was wearing it because I didn't think there was a chance you would be filming today. And I was like, all right, if Zach's filming, then I better not wear my NASA shirt. But now there's a supercell. So. I know. Come here. Come look. Let's go look outside. It's over here to our right. See, right now, look beautiful. Nice and bright blue skies over there. Right? You keep looking. And what is this? Right above our freaking head. Oh, it is. I know, that's what I'm saying. I didn't look right there. you said it was gonna rain. Because so I looked down, hey, I'm like, it's hey. sunny. Let's go storm chasing. This reminds me of the movie Twister. Back when they had like all that technology, all we need is like a Doppler radar on our roof. Hey, Ford, we need to pimp out Fiesta a little bit more to make it a storm chasing mobile. What do you say? Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> I got out to get a shot here. Bree is driving. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Storm chasing can be dangerous if you get too close to a tornado, but I think that it's kind of a fun activity to do. What do you think? Is it is it too risky? Some people think it's too dangerous. And we're not talking about dealing with major tornadoes here or anything. I, sometimes just a pretty storm is, is worth chasing down to get a better look at it. You thought being a New Orleanian to take us to the levee because that's the highest part around here because it has to keep the water out of the city. Yeah, the whole city's below sea level. It's really flat, so see, there's no hills or anything. That right there, see that white over there? That white? Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's where volatility is. That's where, if anything were gonna happen, that seems to be the spot. You can see it descending a little bit. I don't think we're gonna get uh, much of anything serious from this, but it was worth coming to check out. When we get a hurricane, I think I'm gonna stay. I've been telling you that for two years. Just because I want to make a documentary. Finally. CNN will totally pick it up. Okay. Next month for the Fiesta Movement, our uh, mission is gonna have to have something to do with gaming. Now, when I think gaming, I think like video games. What kind of games do people play before video games exist? There must have been something. Ping pong. Chess. Yeah, let's make a video vlog on playing chess. Can't wait to click on that one. 